Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on Unturned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Last episode we have done is we have, oh yes, we have crafted ourselves the amazing alien scale armor. Can you see it over there on our character? I think you can. Uh, no, you cannot see the alien scale armor for some reason. It still has our old hat and our old vest for some reason. Maybe did an update on the player thing. But anyway, yeah. Last time in Scorpion 7, we have crafted ourselves the new, very cool, very epic, very apparently powerful uh, alien scale armor. We haven't tested it out against any zombies yet. We can probably test that out today. But Journey, we already crafted it and equipped it last time after, well, collecting blueprints for Journey <laughs> of the episode. But yeah, now we got the armor, meaning that now we can go and move on and deal with something else. And the next one we're going to deal with will be most likely a bit of exploration because we have practically done everything. We have climbed the Death Tower, we have been to every single location, we have escaped from the map and theoretically completed, like, I guess, the story. Then we kind of willingly came back into the facility to check some things that already missed. We have crafted ourselves the alien scale armor. We have um, killed hundreds of zombies. We have done a lot of stuff. There's not many things left. One of the things that are left to do is to check out a few locations that we missed out on. There's actually, I think, only one location we didn't go to. And that's actually about it. Well, that, and that's what I want to do. I want to go to that one location and go to. And I also want to go and do one more thing. Anyway. Here we are. Back at the top of the tower. Today, oh, hello, Mrs. Zombie Man. Today will probably be our, you know, last time actually starting at the top of the tower. Because the past, like, five episodes, you have started up here. But it's probably going to be the last episode that we're going to start up here. Because now we're going to be going down. We have spent, like, the past four or five episodes literally up just on this singular floor. Just going up in there, gathering items, and coming back down here. So, you know, I guess it's going to go and change now. Because today, what we're going to do is we're going to go and make our way. And we're going to travel into the, um, yeah, into right here. There it is. Into the dev test area. Because I haven't been there. Because you can't actually go. The only way to get there is through teleporting. So today, I want to go to the dev test area. See what's there. See what's all about. Explore it. And then I want to go and try to break out of the map. Why? Because breaking out of the map is quite fun. So those are the two things that I've left that I want to do. I want to check out the dev test area. And I want to break out of the map. So you can see how this map looks like from outside. After, those two, after we do those two things. A.K.A. check out the dev test and break out of the map. After you do those two things. Then we'll be able to go and I guess finish off with this map for good. And we can move on to the next map. But we can move on to the next map later. For now. Dev test and break out of the map. So. Um, alien scale armor, as you can see, we are currently wearing it, and we look like an absolute boss. Like, look at us. We look like a god. You can see how we looked like before on the uh, main menu screen. We had the police vest and that nice little summer hat. Now, we are literally an almighty god. Like, we have xenomorph uh, outfit. We have the alien scale suit and the alien scale helmet. We've got a gas mask, and we've also got a headlamp. And we've got a little knife over here so you can stab people. A nice big backpack on our back. And an assault rifle, which we can just melt people with. Like, look at that gun. Even the gun looks quite futuristic and, you know, modern and all that good stuff. And, yeah, it's just great. Ammunition for the gun, we got a lot of that. And, yeah, my inventory is literally empty. The only thing I have in my inventory are just the magazines for the gun. Because I don't really, I mean, I don't really need anything else. I just genuinely need the ammunition, so that's kind of all I have. Just ammo for the gun. So, yeah, today, as I said... I want to go to the dev test area, I want to see what's there, I want to go and explore that place. And then I want, to, I want to try to break out of the map, just simply see what's outside, see how the world looks like from outside, just see what else we can go, what else we can explore. And I guess then we can most likely finish off this map and go on to the next map. The next map, as you know, is, I believe, the forest, yes. And after the forest, you can check out Elvar. And after Elvar, I guess you might be done, we need to go and find some more maps, I presume. Anyway, um, yeah, I probably should pop this guy in the head just to make sure he doesn't become a problem. Shouldn't we? Semi, and boom, he's dead. Perfect. Now, um, he dropped some handcuff skill. That's kind of useless on our guy over here. And here, there's not going to be anything over here. There's, no, there's day packs. Shotguns, though. I probably could take the blunt force. The blunt force is quite powerful. And, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go and put the blunt force into the chest because I don't even want to carry it around with me. You can put it, I guess, all these, pretty much most of these crates are empty. Because I used to have a lot of, you know, metal, metal scrap and alien scales in here. But now I used all of them up for this armor. So it's just, mostly just alien tissue that I never used that's in here. Pretty cool that is. Also, what is this AGMR suit blueprint? Alien moose. I presume that's the same thing as in the current suit I got. But it's not made out of alien muscles. It's made out of, no, it's not made out of scales. It's made out of alien muscles. Would make sense. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, we also got a. Well, we just gotta go. So dev test. That's the one area you want to go to. And the best way to get there is to simply just do teleport. Hold on, teleport dev test. Before we type it in, I actually want to go and show you this area we've been exploring for the past few episodes. This right here is the dev tower. A huge, well, contraption, kind of just in the middle of nowhere, really. Well, not in the middle of nowhere, it's in the facility, but it's kind of like... All the other things are under quite small, but the Death Tower is one of the biggest structures here. With that being the bottom of the tower, and you have to climb up all the way to the very top. Quite a bit of a climb, quite treacherous. We died many times, you use, you know, boxes to help us out. We, you know, set up beds so you can have little checkpoints every now and then. We used many boxes, we climbed a lot. It was quite a hell of an adventure. It was fun though, but Christ, that was something else. And yeah, then at, at the top of the tower there are like three different things. There's this little area over here, where we are right now, where our spawn is. We got then this area over here, which is just simply a way you can get into the vents. And then from the vents you can get into this huge area, office area. And this is the area where you find all of the, um, what is this vent system for? It's just useless. But this is the area that you go and you simply, um, uh, this is where you find all the blueprints, all the scales, all the items, all that stuff. And then over here is the weird UFO thing, where, I mean, it's it's just a yeah, UFO. A lot of things in here, like, you know, for example, zombies, or um, just alien scales and that stuff. But mostly, it's just, as you can see, the UFO. Well, there's nothing inside of the UFO, but there's items that can spawn in the UFO. It's just a bit of an Easter egg, more than anything else, really. And it's pretty cool. But apart from that, there's nothing else. You really explored everything else. There's the Death Tower, I mean, that's just the top of it right here. I mean, we're down there, so you can see there's still much, much more space above where we are in the top. So, it's a pretty cool building, I gotta say. Pretty cool structure. I like it, I gotta say. Anyway, now that we have done everything here, it's time to move on. And we're gonna move on to, as you know, the Death Test area. And I simply wanna see what's there. So, yeah, this right here is the Death Tower, not Death Tower. This right here is Death, not Dev, but Death Tower. It's pretty cool, very epic. It took us like, I don't know, three episodes to climb it. Like three, I think like, yeah, three episodes to get from the very bottom, which is where the fun is, all to the very top. Three episodes, but I mean, it was worth it because now we're up here. And now that we have done, like, I mean, we spent three episodes climbing the tower, then we spent like three episodes up at the top of the tower, crafting items and exploring. But it's worth it because all those three episodes of climbing, all those three episodes of exploring gave us this epic armor, which I mean, it's just epic. Anyway, now let's waste some more time and let's take ourselves to the dev test area and boom. Yes, to teleport us, good news. Now, where are we? Okay, there is, oh, I know where we are. Okay, so this is the dev test area. Okay, hold on. We gotta, um, what's the gas mask ID? Hold on. Oh god, I need the gas mask. Actually, I don't really, okay, hold on. Pause the goddamn game. So this area is where the dev test teleporter is, where the teleport point is for the dev test area. I was quite frankly not expecting this at all. I thought dev test was gonna be like an area where the devs testing, but the dev test is actually this huge little portal area. Okay. I mean, I guess we could clear this area out again, but I was kind of expecting it to be the dev test area because I already looked at a map and that stuff. So yeah, I thought I already thought this would be the dev test area. But I mean, yeah. I want to go and explore this area anyway, because I want to go and see a few things, but generally, I was expecting this would be this area. Now, before we die, I'm going to go and check the gas mask ID, or get the gas mask ID. Unturned gas mask ID. The ID for gas mask is 1270. Okay. Give 1270. That's 80. 70. Control, copy, control, highlight, control, paste. Perfect. Now you got a spur gas mask. Anyway. I actually want to go turn on my lights, I want to go and just shoot this place up and turn it down because I thought I'd go to a dev test place, which would be, you know, where you could find a lot of, you know, dev test type of area type, where we could just simply find a lot of, we could find a developer area. I was hoping for a developer area, but instead we got this place. I mean, this place isn't bad, but it's not really what I was expecting to find. Either way, this is it. This is the dev test area. And over here is the weird dev creature I've already killed before, but generally, yeah. This is the dev test area. Okay, cool. We try to go and break out of this area, but I don't think that's physically possible. But generally, yeah, this is the dev test area. I said I could go through it once, one more time because I don't really see why not, but I mean, yeah. Basically, this is the dev test area. It's pretty cool, but I mean, we've already been here. But I mean, while I'm here, I already could check this out. So, that's, those are two things I wanted to do. I wanted to check out dev test, which dev test is just this place. And I wanted to break out of the map. So, I guess we could clear this out and then try to break out of the map. Hopefully. 
for now, I'm gonna go and just clear this place out. So, first of all, boom, he's dead. Now, let's get through this place. We're gonna have a lot of zombies coming after us, but zombies don't go to... Well, they see, they go towards, well, they hear, they hear the gunshot over there, they're gonna go over there. Pretty simple-minded creatures, to be honest. Beautiful. Oh, he survived that. He didn't survive that, though. All right, let's go and take this slowly, shall we? It's an elevator. I presume these elevators don't take you anywhere. No, they're just... It's not purely decoration, frankly. Just gonna show this entire area is falling apart. Literally and figuratively. All right. I also take this gas mask over here. Actually, this is empty. No, that's just... Oh, that's just decoration. All right, that's pretty fun then, isn't it? Okay. Let's keep it going, then. Here we got um, Spar Magazine. The Spar is literally a terrible weapon. Plasma Cutter. I don't think I ever used the Plasma Cutter because I think I died before I got to use it. I'm going to go and take it so maybe you can use it. I'm not here really for the items. I'm just here to maybe explore and explore last time. You know, go to the place that, you've mi that I've missed out on last time. Simple as that. That's the only really, really reason I'm here. Drop you, change you. Let's keep it going. I'll give you there. Now, for here we just simply got Plasma Cutter batteries. I'm going to go and take those. I don't want to go and try out the plasma cutter, but I know who I want to try the plasma cutter on, so I want to keep the plasma cutter ammunition. Now I'm going to go and use it later on. For now, I want to go and just really explore this place. Alright, fine, fair enough. Nothing through there. That's just that area. Let's keep it going then. We've got the water area. This is a place that also has those weird, messed up zombie things, which are broken and scary and generally terrifying. Now, I swear, yeah, there's also this area over here. How do you. Oh, you get over there through there. Okay, fine. But can you. I don't think you can actually get into this place. Oh, it's a secret area, that's why. I know how to get into there, though. I know how to get into this area. This area is a secret, but you can break into there. If you simply just destroy this... Hold on. Yeah, if you just simply hit this with your knife, you can destroy it to reveal a secret area. Oh, that's so cool. It's just a secret area that I kind of get into for some reason. Will you let me in, mate? There we go. There's a secret area. That's so cool. Can you break in through there? I presume you can. But yeah, secret area. Wait. What's actually in here? Apart from a... What's this? What is this? What did I just pick up? Ah, book. Great. It's a book. There's a crate. I guess someone was living here was counting down the days they were trapped in here, but I presume they didn't make it. Poor guy. And I guess it's gonna get us up to the cafeteria, huh? If we can even break it. They can't even hit it from here. Fine. But basically, this is a bit of a secret area. Cool. I haven't found that. So, already, we're not even here for five minutes. We're already going to find some new stuff. It's pretty cool. This is a little center podium area, which, I mean, it's pretty abandoned. Over there is the portal room, over there is just one side, and over here is the other side. Okay, and those are the messed up weird death creature zombie things. They're utmost terrifying, and I hate them a lot. Anyway, die. Oh, you survived that, that's quite bad. Are you coming? Oh yeah, they're coming, they're all coming. Ah, stop, stop, die, die. Oh, I'm out of ammunition. Reload, quickly, and then fire. Die. Shoot into the crowd and kill them all. Die. Stupid zombie creatures. Oh, there's more. Stop. Christ almighty. Who else does have a go, huh? You as well? I'm out of ammunition. God damn it. Reload. Fire. Stop. 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 We also gotta go and kill this weird monster. It's there. Yeah, quite dangerous. Who else does have a go, huh? Is that everybody? Might be everyone. Yeah, these guys are very messed up. But there might be everyone then. Okay, let's drop the empty mags. Let's keep it going. All right, Christ almighty. That went a bit worse than I hoped it would, but I mean, hey, we're still completely fine. Six is ID for ammunition, so you gotta keep that in mind. This is always one of the death zombies, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like those guys. Oh god, I just fell down. Yeah, forget about this entire area over here. Small little area, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I don't really want to be down here, so we get out of there, shall we? But yeah, I forget about that place. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Can I shoot this guy now? I think I can. I'm certain I can. Oh uh, yeah, hi dude. Oh, I don't have enough ammunition. I did not. Reload. Reload. Die. Die. Okay, he's dead. Christ almighty. Drop the empty mag. Let's keep it going. Good, good. We should be safer from his damage thanks to our exosuit, so, yeah. But you never know. Well, not exosuit, but the alien scale armor. You get the point. Let's keep it going, though. You're dead. Alright, fine. I don't know if there's anything else here that you can find, but I mean, it's still worth to check it out. Maybe we can find some weapon blueprints. You never know. Oh, there's another one coming in. Is he, though? Hold on. No, never mind. There's just that guy's dead body. Okay, great. There is, oh, there is something underneath here. I'll probably check this area out before I might not have. Oh, no, I think I have, haven't I? Yeah, I think I have. There's nothing over here, though, is there? No, no. I do remember checking this area out, though. Okay, my gas mask is going to die in a minute, and I'm going to drown in a minute, so we got to get the hell out of here, switch our gas mask out, and keep it going. Alright. Now, 
Boom, we're out. We're safe. Where's my gas mask? There's a gas mask. Change that. Equip that. Drop you. Let's give ourselves more ammunition. Give six slash three. And let's keep it going. That's more ammo. That's more ammo. Good. Let's keep it going then. And uh, what is this? White noise. Of course, there are all these weapons. It's the white noise. I mean, I could make the white noise. I can take it. Let's see what the white noise is. Hold on. What does it say? Top secret building plans. The weapon of mass destruction. I like my destruction. Let's see how you can craft it then, huh? Uh, white noise, white noise. Do we need some more materials for it? Presumably. We need to get at least like one or two materials for it. Actually see what we need. Yeah, no blueprints matching. Okay, fair enough. Fine. I guess the blueprint isn't enough just to give us what we need. It's quite a few white noise blueprints. Huh. Okay, there's a lot of white noise blueprints. So, yeah, I, forgot, I remember. There's white noise blueprints actually everywhere here. Okay, what item would you need for a weapon of mass destruction, huh? I should ask how, yeah, how creepy those things look. But yeah, what items would you need for a weapon of mass destruction, huh? Because if I can figure that out, I can hopefully get a few materials for that. I presume metal scrap would be kind of what we need. I'll take these pens and turn that into metal scrap, but I guess that's what we need. A white noise blueprint. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to take these pens to make metal scrap. Because metal scrap is actually relatively useful, quite ironically. And even though it's scrap, it's still useful. Okay, fair enough. Is this what I think it is? It is basically the other side of the weird here yeah, entrance to the secret room. All right, cool, cool, cool. And this is just this room. Like that's where we've already been in there. And this is this room which we've already been in. And this is just a way which you can go around to get over there into the front area. Okay, fine. This guy's I believe just an unloaded person. Okay, let's go to the other wing. See what's there. And we can keep it going on our little not so merry adventure. Oh, for God's sake, get out of the water. Okay, fine. Let's keep it going then. Let's see what we got over here, huh? We got more white noise blueprints, of course. Because, yeah, why wouldn't we? Hi, how are you? Bye. Great. <laughs> Alright, anything else that you can possibly find? No, I don't think so. Okay. While I'm here, I actually want to go and make sure that I'm safe. I want to go and actually turn these into metal scrap. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if metal scrap, you can hopefully make the white noise. No. Seriously, please. I just want the white noise, for God's sake. Maybe I need a metal sheet. Can you, t you can turn them back into scrap, good. What do I need for the white noise? Tell me. I want to make it, but I don't know what the hell I need, because I'm telling me for some reason. Yeah, it's not going to tell me what I need for the white noise, is it? No. I can always Google it or just put it in via cheat. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly Google and see what we need for the white noise. Hold on, give me a minute. i got to open Google again, then I'm going to go and check it out. Okay. Hold on a minute. Uh-huh. Unturned. Unturned a uh, scorpion seven white noise. Let's see what what happens with that, huh? White noise. I mean, apparently it's an overpowered weapon. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. How do you get it though? Can you just tell me how you can get it? That'd be quite cool if you could just tell me how to get it. Hold on. I'll check out this Steam community website and see what they say on here about the white noise. Uh, if they could give me an ID, that'd be pretty cool. I could just... I was spawned it in. I just nearly killed myself on my chair. Uh, no, there's literally an empty. Uh, there's literally... There's nothing on here. Great. What about this one? Uh, there's nothing on here, is there? No, okay. H how about that? We just type in, type in white noise ID. area, And see if you get anything over here. No. Actually, it could be on this ID list. Hold on a minute. Could be on here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Could be, uh, is it alphabetical order or it's not? Great. Okay. That's the white noise blueprint, but it's not actually any white noise itself, which is great, isn't it? Uh, task force bottom, scrub and lead, paper, rubber, plastic, pen, plasma cutter, battery, white noise blueprint. It's not actually any white noise itself. Circuit alien scale, iris, coronaris blueprint. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Nope. There is genuinely no, um,. Blueprint for the white noise uh, itself. Not blueprint, but ID. I could check out one thing. It would be. What would be ID? 59752. Let's try that, okay? Give 597. 59752. Did I do anything? No. Okay, how about give 597. 59751. No, that just gave me the blueprint itself, okay? Then give five nine seven five zero. 
Nope, no, okay, fair enough. So, this is where I'm, Oh, God, where did the new come from? Oh, my, what the hell? That guy came from nowhere. Genuinely, that guy came from nowhere. Christ almighty. Well, anyway, uh... Drop you. Basically, I'm not going to be able to craft anything with you because... Well, I don't know what I need to craft with you. That's the worst part. Like, but yeah, blueprint, but how do I... How do you how do you use blueprints in this game for the love of God damn it? Okay, you know what? Um, hold on, I just got uh, a weapon. Let's quickly go and try not to die first of all. Let's keep it going. We can check out the white noise blueprint after we get to where we need to get to, which is a safe place. For now, we're gonna get out of here because it's just death and murder over here. That's broken. Great. Anything in here? No, just more white noise blueprints. Yes, of course. If I can find out what materials I need, I can try to get those materials so to show me the. Crafting recipe, but of course not gonna do that, is it? No, of course not. That's this area, which I don't know. I don't know where I even am at this point. I am over here, and that's over there. Oh, that, oh, that's where I am. Okay, cool. I don't even can find anything else over here. Oh, I just realized my gas mask is dead, isn't it? I'm yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. Hold on, no, stop. I need, I need a new gas mask. Stop. No, no, no. Give me ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. There, yeah, Christ. I didn't lose any health, but if you can see my green bar, it's like my. Not health like in life, but health like in healthiness. And that dropped down from 100 to 126 percent. That went down very quickly. I gotta pay attention to my gas mask because I nearly died from that. Because my health was, uh, my health didn't get hurt yet, but it's gonna get hurt quite a lot in a minute. Now, in here, in this room, we have, as you know, the weird deaf creature over there. I don't know what he is. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he drops. The portal doesn't even teleport you anywhere. It's just loud as hell. I don't really know anything about this area. There's just a weird portal. A guy that if you kill, he doesn't drop you anything interesting. It's a strange area. Mean Franklin's a strange area. Yeah. Okay, I want to go and kill this guy here, but I'm going to use the amazing uh, plasma cutter. So if we can just quickly close this door. No, it's missing a power source. Oh, it just lost its fuel. Of course it did. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Fair enough. Yeah, it's lost its fuel source, so the door kind of closed the door. That's fine. How about we go and quickly just kill this guy now, shall we? That's why I grabbed the plasma cutter ammunition for it because I wanted to kill this guy. Alright, dude. Time for you to die. <laughs> okay. Did I even hit him? Does this weapon even hit him? No. How does this weapon even work? Hey, dude, can you come over here for a minute? And I was hitting him. Come over here, dude. I'll cut you up because plasma cutter is cool. Come on, dude. dude. No. This weapon is very hard to aim with. I've noticed that. If you could just come over here, dude, I could just shoot you dead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's dealing damage. The guy is making weird sounds, but his weapon's very hard to aim with. Die! Die! Okay, this guy has a lot of health, and the plasma cutter is literally impossible to aim with this weapon. Like, Christ. I missed all my shots, the guy's still alive. I'll, um, maybe plow these into your head instead. Maybe these could do a bit more work. Die! Just generally, die! Okay, he's still alive, now he just did a spin. Of course, he just did a spin, of course. Why would he do a spin? Let's just fire these into your head and probably kill you. Die, dude. Just die. Hey, I forgot this guy has like five quadrillion health. And he just spins every now and then. Right. Well, let's keep shooting. Hopefully, they'll do something. Oh. He's dead. We got him. Okay. Well, that went, I mean, actually rather decently well. Okay, could have got worse. Um... 6 slash 4, perfect. Give me more ammunition. Is the guy dead? Yeah, he's definitely dead. So what did he drop this time? He just dropped chemicals and purification tablets. Yeah, the stuff he drops are awfully strange. Like, I mean, awfully strange. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna leave him there because, yeah, he exists. Anyway, um, I guess that's that. Now, I'm gonna go quickly to... Uh, hold on, teleport. Um, gate B. Good, because now I'm gonna go and break out of this place. Here we are, we're at gate B test. I want to escape from this place. We could go back to the death tower, but going back to the death tower is pointless, at least for now. Hold on. Let's teleport ourselves back to E. Actually, let's go back to the death tower. No, hold on. At teleport E dot. Go back to the top of the death tower. I want to put my items away, and then we can finish off for the day. Good. So basically, before we finish off, I actually want to go and escape back outside, because now... Now we have checked out the dev test area and figured out it's an area we've already been to. Now we're going to move out to our second objective, and our second objective is to break out of the map. And the best place to break out of the map from is, as you know, the outside. And the outside, the best way to get outside is to go to gate B test. So we're going to go over there. But before we do that, we've got to firstly put our items away. So, 
And we can go and put away you into here. Good. I can go and equip you, and I guess I can also just drop you, because I don't really want the empty one. I can now put the metal scrap into here as well, because why not, actually. There's not my metal scrap in here. It is. We can put our metal scrap in here as well. We have all my other, you know, this is where I, this is where I put my hat and my other things. It's quite cool. All right. Now, let's get ourselves out of here, then, shall we? I think we shall. In that case, go, and let's simply teleport ourselves over to port um, gate B. Perfect. And here we are. That right there is gate B. That is our escape. We're going to finish this episode off right here. And next episode we're going to do is going to head forward. We're going to escape from the facility again. And after we escape, we're going to go and we're going to see if we're going to try to break out of the map. So yeah, we're going to escape from the facility and break out of the map in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you're done. I'll see you guys in the next one. First, you have got to go quickly just drink some food, eat some, you know, drink some food, eat some water. Great, that makes sense. I'm going to other way around. Drink some water and use some food. And we, then we can get the hell out of here. Perfect. And now we are all fed. Beautiful. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys, hopefully all of you, in the next episode. Next episode, we're going to go. We're going to head forward into the darkness. We're going to escape from the Scorpion 7 Servant facility. We're going to escape from the facility for a second time. And then we're going to try to break out of the map because breaking out of the map is fun. So, yeah. We can escape from the facility and break out of the map again. No. We can escape from the facility again and break out of the map next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!